Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're gonna to check it out. Camera angles in mid journey. Also, if you wanna check out these realistic looking portraits and you want to improve your skills with mid journey, you can join the members only channel and select secret content where I post way more advanced tutorials with mid journey. So today I'm gonna to show you different camera angle views. And basically this is the default uh, view that mid journey has most of the time. It basically has this rectangle. You know, when you add a model, it's gonna show this close up por portrait most of the time, which is like kind of boring. You know, it's gonna cut off part from uh, its forehead and it's gonna go till the chest area. And that's kind of it. Most of the time, this is what it does. So you need to break the pattern in order to create a better composition. So there's like another situation going on. This is the vertical shot, the portrait shot, where, where I use the aspect ratio to column three. And here you can see it broke the pattern. You can see the full model into the picture. It won't create any portrait anymore because you're gonna need to add separately portrait as a prompt. So in this situation, the AI understands better if you add this aspect ratio. And of course the photo is gonna look more dynamic, more three-dimensional, it's gonna look more cinematic. And then we got another one, we got the aspect ratio three by two. This is the horizontal landscape style. In these situations, it creates the best portraits, by the way. It also has more information because the image is more wide. And this way you can see people in the background in blur. So it's like a more realistic kind of approach rather than doing just a really close up composition. Now there's like a different situation here. We got a samurai walking on the streets of Kyoto. Again, we got like some squared compressed images, which is like really zoomed out. And then we got the portrait shot, which looks more moody, it looks more cinematic. You know, it's more closer because it basically cuts up the left and right. It's not square anymore. And then we got the landscape shot. Now check this out. I also added here a low angle shot. So this is basically gonna take the photo, take the image, from a lower angle. And in the first image, it's really visible. In the third one, it didn't understood. You can also check this link. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to check these settings with the journey with these prompts. We got the views, we got top view, side view, satellite view, what the hell, aerial view, close up, close up view. Center shot is pretty good if you want to, you know, if mid journey makes the model on the left or on the right, you can add center shot and it's gonna position it to the center. We got angles, low angle. This is what we tried, low angle, perspective and projection. And this was it. Thanks for watching and if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one, bye bye.